How in the world does anyone still defend this nonsense going on with the Disney trilogy? How does anybody defend it? There was never a plan. It's nonsense. Basically, they just show up. Whoever's directing the next film just shows up and just throws a bunch of ideas that have nothing to do with the previous film. They have nothing to do with anything. And we've been saying this for two years now. And now here's Colin Trevorrow proving that there was never a plan for the Disney trilogy. Kathleen Kennedy is a terrible leader. I have said this over and over and over again. And I'm never going to back off of it because I'm right. And I've always been right. Kathleen Kennedy is is a horrific leader and there was never a plan for the sequel trilogy if you're still you can like these movies that's fine but if you're trying to tell me there was a plan then i can't really have a conversation with you because you do not know what you're talking about colin trevorrow confirms that emperor, Pal emperor palpatine was not in his version of episode nine amazing good job jj Oh my goodness. Uh, basically talks about Colin Trevorrow was hired to tackle episode 9 uh, back in 2015 after Jurassic World. After a couple of years on the project, word surfaced that the script was in trouble. Uh, Lucasfilm brought on Jack Thorne to perform a rewrite that didn't go well. Uh, a month later, Trevorrow departed the project entirely over creative differences. Uh, at which point, Lucasfilm asked Abrams if he would consider taking over the film. Uh, brought on Chris Terrio, we know that. As for Trevorrow's version of Episode 9, uh, the filmmaker isn't quite keen on saying just yet, but in an interview with Empire, he did reveal one fascinating detail. Emperor Palpatine was not in his script. Bringing back em the Emperor was an idea J.J. brought to the table when he came on board. Uh, Trevorrow says, It's honestly something I never considered. I commend him for it. That was a tough. Uh, this was a tough story to unlock, and he found the key. Um, it also says, uh, while Trevorrow tells Empire he's happy uh, that the fans will get to see some of his and Conley's ideas, he's not ready to spill uh, what his episode 9 was. That's not my place, especially right now, uh, Trevorrow said. Uh, I know how hard this crew has worked over the past two years, and a lot of them are working with us on Jurassic. Um, I want to support them as they put out this film to the world. In the end, I'm just proud to have my name in space. Uh, the Book of Henry filmmaker did, however, reveal one request he made to Ryan Johnson for The Last Jedi when he was working uh, on Star Wars 9. I just asked Ryan if he could include a little moment where Rey and Poe meet for the first time. They're such beloved characters, it felt right for them to have some history in the next movie. I thought the way he did it was perfect. Um, <laughs> so there's no plan. It's, it's, it's essentially is what he's saying. There's no plan. There was never a plan for any of this. Each film has just been thrown against the wall. You show up to work and you're like, hey, you got any ideas for this next Star Wars movie? Sure, I, I think we'll do this. All right, great. Let's just do that. It's unbelievable. I've said it. I'm going to continue to say how terrible Kathleen Kennedy is. She is awful. She is the worst leader I've ever seen. This woman is a disaster. And this is what happens when you do force diversity hiring. She is in that position because she is a glorified secretary and she is a whammon. And she can't be fired because she's a whammon. This is identity politics at the tip top of the food chain right here. She cannot be fired because she's a whammon. And they play identity politics all the time. This is a disaster. A true, unbelievable disaster. And it's just hilarious at this point. Like, J.J., like, again, it's no secret that I said I'm a fan of J.J. And I've liked a lot of his stuff. I've liked a lot of his TV shows. Uh, as a non-Star Trek fan, I enjoyed Star Trek 09. I enjoyed Into Darkness. Um, I enjoyed uh, Mission Impossible 3. I enjoyed Super 8. I get it, you know? But... And I was a defender of The Force Awakens. I was fooled by that movie. But ultimately, J.J. has gotten to that point where he really needs to stay away from geek culture properties, pre-existing geek culture properties, much like Michael Bay. I'm a big fan of Michael Bay's movies when he's not directing Transformers and producing Ninja Turtles. I mean, I, I love The Rock. I love Bad Boys. You know, he's got, he's got a lot of really good movies. But when he touches pre-existing geek culture properties, it's a disaster. And that's kind of where JJ's getting into now. JJ is just he is just horrible. He is horrible when it comes to touching these, these beloved franchises. And to bring Palpatine back is an all-time terrible decision. But 
It continues to prove what we've been saying for two years over and over again. There was never a plan. Kathleen Kennedy is a terrible leader. Lucasfilm is a disaster. The Disney trilogy is a disaster. And this is why we're all so upset. Unbelievable. Hopefully, John Favreau takes over Lucasfilm. Please do this before it all falls apart because it is so bad right now. The only thing holding it together is The Mandalorian. The, C the uh, oh, I almost said it. The Disney trilogy, not the sequel trilogy. Not the sequel trilogy. The Disney trilogy. Because it has not earned the right to be called the sequel trilogy. It is truly the Disney trilogy, and it is a trash fire beyond belief. This is incredible. And this news right here is proof that Kathleen Kennedy doesn't have a plan, and she is a horrible leader. And if anybody has tried to tell me different, you have been proven wrong. I always know what I'm talking about. I'm usually almost always right. And if there is a few times where I am wrong, I will admit it, unlike you SJW freaks out there. But I've been right from the beginning on this. Kathleen Kennedy's terrible. There was never a plan. And the Disney trilogy is truly a disaster. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.